So, y'all see I got my Juneteenth shirt on. Illinois don't give the day off, apparently. Oh, okay. I thought it was a federal holiday. Uh-huh. But I don't know anybody that's off on Monday. No banks? The banks are closed? No. I don't know. No mail. No banks. I'm going to run whatever. <laughs> and people are like in Atlanta, they're like, oh yeah, we got three day week here. And I'm like, who is we? Yeah. <laughs> Not over here. Right. But shout out to Freedom. Okay. <laughs> really? Yes. Are we really free? Ah, uh, well, it's a good question. Florida is trying to take us back to 1923. Pre civil rights. Yeah. But no history. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna get into the peoples and the histories. We're gonna stick to the whiskey right now because yeah. this video will be never ending. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Today we had Nulu toasted small batch, uh, uh, another pure wine pick. This is their pure two pick. Uh, Distillery again is Prohibition Craft Distilling. Did I say that right? Craft Spirit Distilling. There you go. Yes. No, PCS. 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 And then this comes in at uh, 115.6 proof. Yeah. 57.8% alcohol by volume. Aged four to six years. And then aged an extra four weeks in the toasted barrel to give the toastiness yes. that we're about to experience. And most of their things say small batches, most of their uh, bottles, and they say their small batch is equal to 53 gallons. Because, you know, there's no legal definition for small batch. Yet. I'm not sure if there ever will be. But <laughs> at least they tell you what their small batch is, just in case y'all were wondering. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm over here. I guess they didn't try that barrel. 
palate palate in It's not as toasty as it should be. Is this a summer toast? Is this it? That's what it is. Summer pure tea. <laughs> Small batch pick. Because it ain't. It ain't. No, it's not toasting on my palate. Pretty sure it's not summer because mm-hmm. I probably had this bottle since last fall. Okay, so. It's a fresh crack. Oh, oh, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I'm just. Maybe I'm spoiled because <laughs> I've had the previous toasted expressions and this one is just not hitting it for me. I mean, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. It's just not as toasted as I thought it would be. That's just it. And it's very alcohol forward. Very alcohol forward? Yes. I like the flavors overall. Toast sand toast overall. I like the whiskey itself. All right. We got two <sighs> cocktails cut. Good luck to us. So the first cocktail for this episode is the Darker the Berry Manhattan. Um, it calls for three ounces of the whiskey <laughs> and 1.25 ounces of sorrel. How do you say it? Sorrel. 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 Yeah. yeah. Sorrel. Yeah. Sorrel. Sorrel. All right. <clears throat> 1.25 ounces of that and uh, three dashes of ango, one dash of the orange. All right. So I'm going to start. Ew. Oh, and we're going to garnish with some cherries. So I'm making two cocktails. Good Lord. Let's see. Um, a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of alcohol, y'all. All right. Going to have to do some calculations in my head. Six. So I'll do it three times. Mm-hmm. Three times. Three, three, three. Shout out to Marcy. We are taking a risk here with Marcy Cocktail because she like a good pour, as you can see. Creator okay. of that, he is a Black Burp Society member. All right, and I believe Fawn Weaver um, helped fund him for his second launch of this because he had launched it before. Okay, and I believe he's from New York. Kind of count my head. Six. Yes. <laughs> Cocktail. If not, we'll just divvy up the rest when we can. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. All right, y'all. It's nice. Look at that beautiful bean. Manhattan color. It is. I'm excited to try it. I haven't tried this one. Oh, okay. I've done a variation of a um. Yeah, look at that. It's enough. A paper plane with the sorrel. And I like it. My mom likes it too. I was surprised. She's not a huge sorrel fan. Oh. She's not a huge hibiscus person, so that's why I think. Alright, All right. there you go. Ta-da! 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 Oh, we got cocktails. We got cocktails. <laughs> Cocktail number two. Mm-mm. Hey, hey. Hello. This is also a Marcy cocktail. A little less liquor. Thank the Lord. (laughs) So this one is the hibiscus sour. It is two ounces of bourbon, one ounce of sorrel, one ounce of lemon juice. Shake it and serve it on up. Shake it. All right. So we will actually start with the lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Bam. So I've actually been looking into... Super juice. Have you tried to make that yet? What's that? 
Super Juice is a way to basically use the lemon or lime or orange in your cocktail for a longer period of time without the juice going rancid. So it adds like citric acid, some add citric and malic acids to it, okay. but you um, take the peel of one, like lemon, lime, whatever, okay. without the pith, then you let that sit in the acids for a little bit, powder, obviously. Yeah. Um, and then you'll take those peels, add water, it's all based on weight, blend it up together, filter it, and I believe that should be enough. I think some, I think that was a cordial to add in some syrup. So I think that's basically it. Huh. And then it's supposed to allow your juices to last longer and not have them oxidize so much. Hmm, okay. Takes away the freshness if you're letting it sit there. It's not freshly squeezed. Uh, yeah, but it's a way to allow things to be more sustainable. Oh, yes. Um, that's the, I think that's the major that's point the of it. It's to be more sustainable. And technically, oh, and you do use the juice of the fruit. So oh, okay. You do take the, if you just use one lemon, you squeeze the whole lemon yeah. in there with the water. And the peels, peels. The acid, yeah. mix it up, strain it. Yeah. Okay. Anyhow. That's a little side note. Y'all might see us make that later. You know what I'm saying? We might have some other ideas coming forward. Who knows? I'ma shake it. Until chill. Until chill. I was also looking at clarifying cocktails. Clarifying cocktails? Yeah. With, the, with the milk and the... Um, some you can do with milk. Some you can actually just clarify the juice. Oh, okay. And that will help keep the cocktail clear. So if you just use clarified lemon juice or clarified lime juice. Yeah. Or you could do the, put it into the milk and let it filter down. Depending on the milk. I saw one use coconut cream. So it did add a little coconutiness to it. So if you're looking for like a tiki drink, that'll yeah. make more sense. Otherwise, the regular milk works. So, mm -hmm. so what's really the point in clarifying? Just to have a clear cocktail. And Just you still get the same you flavor like profile. Drinks, so you don't yeah. like the colorfulness of the cocktail? I guess so. I mean, okay. it just doesn't like give you the cloudiness. Like this wouldn't be as cloudy if it was clarified. It would still be purple or brown, but it just wouldn't be the cloudiness from the juice. Okay. That's all I got. Anyhow, all we right. got these cocktails. Ta-da! All right. We're going to taste the cocktails, see how they go. Yeah. You want to start Manhattan? Yeah. All right. Which way do we usually start? This way? That way? In? Oh, know. top to bottom, so it will still be Manhattan. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna be sipping mine from the table. It look a little extra full, so y'all don't mind me. Just say, I wasn't trying to take the risk. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> confession. Ooh. We haven't really been drinking since yeah. we stopped filming. Mm. So, whoo, come on now, Marcy. And I like it. It gives me some sweetness. The sorrow gives it a good little spice. I get the allspice. I get yeah. the clove. I get the clove. Yeah, yeah. The, that I like about it for mm -hmm. sure. It's a lot of liquor. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of liquor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like it, though. But this is definitely... Take me a good time to finish it, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like... yeah. This one of those mm -hmm. rough days at work. Yeah, you Now, if I was drinking on Thursday, this would have been my Thursday cocktail. See, I wasn't drinking. But they had me doing four people's jobs at work. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. You need to tell them some I advice. did, that's why. I... Oh, oh, yeah. Psh. The nerve. Psh. 
I didn't hear nothing. No, I, I, was I told the schedule. Okay. <laughs> I was like, look, I can't do this two days in a row. You got to take something away. Take it away. Right now. All right. Voice your opinions, guys. Mm. All right. So Mm. next, we have the biscuit salad. All right. It's sour. So this one will require a little simple syrup. So, like 0.5. Yeah. Maybe just a pinch mm. of simple syrup would have done this well. I don't think the sorrel is a sweet enough liqueur no. by itself for this. Plus, it's hard. It's but hard. It, it has all of the spices that got good flavor. Mm. And I think the proof the, is pretty decent. Actually. The flavor profile of the sorrel mm-hmm. comes out more in the Manhattan. Yeah, you can definitely taste it more in mm-hmm. the Manhattan. Uh, out of the two, I think I like the Manhattan the best. Yes. But if I would add a hibiscus simple, simple syrup, syrup. Mm-hmm. this, this would be, be fire. Yes. So if I feel like it, because I got hibiscus summer. leaves somewhere in this house. If I yes. make some hibiscus simple syrup, I'm going to come back to y'all with this one. I have some. I'm going to put it. Actually, I was trying to make some the other day. Not nice. The division. So I'm going to uh, come back to y'all on this one and let y'all know how great it is. Because I know this is going to be off the chain that way. <laughs> Sour. So if y'all are willing to try these, let us know. Yes. Shout out to Marcy for creating these cocktails. Mm-hmm. I know this one was more of a trial and error cocktail. So I didn't take the second one. I do believe that she made this one with simple syrup. Um, for various reasons at the end of the day. Okay. But we will catch y'all on the next one. Bye. Bye.